This is a video about how to make what's in the background of almost every clip of the lathe. The chip tray. How I made it and how you can make one too. But first, I want to go over some of the design decisions. As you can see from the pile of chips from my previous projects, it really works quite well. I put some angles in it for some various purposes. The angle up on the chuck side acts as a stop to prevent the chips from falling forward onto the ways. This is effective at keeping the ways pretty clean. There are also two downward bends, one on the front and one on the back. Also notice how the front piece is overhanging the lead screw. These are to encourage the chips to fall into the chip tray below. I noticed very early that the chips were going to get caught in the lead screw and this extension does a very impressive job at keeping the screw nice and clean. Finally, I wanted to make it as long as I reasonably could to offer the most protection. There was already an existing hole in the carriage, so I just tapped it with an M6 by 1 thread. The bends are also very effective at keeping the plate from bending, and anything you can do to add some rigidity to this lathe is definitely worth doing. The chip tray is held by a single cap screw, sandwiching both a regular and a lock washer, and that seems to be plenty. At this point, the video is going to be more like a slideshow because I made this chip tray before I had millions of subscribers, so I only took pictures rather than videos. I started off with a piece of random metal I found. I don't know where it came from, but most anything can work, like a piece from an old grill, or even from the dented fender you had to replace when someone hit your car. The first step was to make it more or less square. I just did this on the bandsaw pretty quickly and easily, following the lines I made with a square. Since nothing is rotating in this project, but there are sharp edges, gloves are also recommended. Again, this is marking the width to try to get it as large as possible, but never in the way. It looks like this was even done before the knurled handles. Next, I marked the places I wanted to bend, and also the pieces that had to be removed to allow the metal to bend on the sides. I also rough cut and ground smoothed the corners so there was nothing left to get caught on or scratched by. The bench vise worked great as a metal brake. Just make sure you're making the bends in the right directions. After the shaping was done and I was satisfied with the fit, I drilled the single mounting hole. And of course cleaned it up so it looks much nicer. Again, I'm not sure what this hole was originally for, but it accepted an M6x1 tap perfectly and has been holding up rather well. And that was it, a pretty quick project that has paid off many times over. The next thing I thought would be cool to do for everyone would be to model this shape up as a 2D template. Once the template is made, it can simply be cut out and traced to give a pretty accurate starting point to make one of these chip trays yourself. I took the template I traced and modeled it for real and exported the drawing as a PDF. All you have to do is check the link in the description for the download and you can print this off and use it. Just make sure that when you're printing it, the scale of the print is set to 100%, otherwise it will print in the wrong size. That's it for this video. If you have one of these mini lathes, I definitely encourage you to make one of these yourself. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe.